Hello students, today we are going to see the topic fans, blowers and compressors. So before going through in detail, let's see the difference between fans, blowers and compressors. It is differentiated depending upon the discharge pressure delivered by fan, blower and compressor and specific speed. So the discharge pressure delivered by fan is 0.04 atmosphere. The discharge pressure delivered by blower is up to 2 atmosphere and the discharge pressure delivered by compressor is from 2 atmosphere to several thousand atmosphere and as you can see on the screen the specific ratio specific ratio is the discharge pressure upon suction pressure so the discharge, specific ratio of fan is up to 1.11 blower is between 1.11 to 1.20 and compressor is well above 1. 20. So this is how we can differentiate between fans, blowers and compressors. So let's start with the fans first. So the fan, the choice of the fan, it generally depends upon the application and the flow and the static pressure. So the types of fans, there are two types of fans, centrifugal fan and axial flow fan. These are only the two types of fans available. The best example of axial flow fan is the table fan and the ceiling fan, what we used for the domestic applications. So that is the best example of axial flow fans. I will just show you the figure of a centrifugal fan. So on your screen you can see the centrifugal fan. So these are the centrifugal fans. So the uh, examples of centrifugal fans can be in the blowers, compressors, etc. So these centrifugal fans are suitable for high pressure applications as compared to that of a axial flow fans. And you can see that in the diagram, spiral housing design with inducers, diffusers are efficient as compared to that of a square housing. So these are the centrifugal fans and as I have told you about the Axel uh, fans, the best example are ceiling fan, table fan, etc. These are the Axel fans. So the fan performance, the fan performance depends upon the uh, temperature, speed and density. So these are the three parameters on which the fan performance generally depends. So the applications of the fans are, fans are used to move large volume of air or gas through ducts, supplying air for drying, conveying material suspended in the gas stream, removing fans, the uh, fumes sorry, in a condensing towers and other high flow low pressure applications. So these are in short the applications of the fans in the chemical industry. So moving ahead with the blowers, there are the, as we have seen that the outlet pressure, the discharge pressure of the blower is up to 2 atmosphere. So if you want more discharge pressure, you can go towards the blower. So we have the two types of blowers, centrifugal blower and positive displacement blower. So when it comes to the centrifugal blower, the best example of a centrifugal blower is the hair dryer. So that is what we can say it is a centrifugal blower then going to the positive displacement blowers the positive displacement blowers uh, if you go back to the positive displacement pumps types of positive displacement pumps we have two reciprocating and rotary pump uh, rotary pumps so similarly here when we go for the positive displacement blowers we will found found only the rotary blowers we don't find any positive displacement uh, sorry reciprocating blowers so in the positive displacement blowers you will find the rotary blowers already i have shared the uh, videos and animations of the same you can just go through that you will understand how the working of a positive displacement blower and a centrifugal blower will take place so the discharge pressure of a centrifugal blower is between 0 0.3 to 0 0.70 kg per centimeter uh, per, sorry per centimeter square 
and for a positive displacement blower it is 1.25 kg per centimeter square centrifugal blowers are generally not used where the uh, clogging of the pipes takes place positive displacement blower can be used in the pipelines where the clogging of the pipeline takes place so this can be the application of the blower centrifugal blower and positive displacement blower Uh, beside that the few applications of the blowers are used in many types of uh, ventilation work such as air conditioning system etc in large buildings blowers are often used due to high delivery pressure needed to overcome the pressure drop in the ventilation system blowers are also used to supply draft air to boilers and fumes so these are the applications of the blowers then moving towards the compressors Compressors are used to handle a large volume of gas as I have told you initially that if the discharge pressure required is about 2 atmosphere uh, and several thousand atmosphere you can move towards the compressor and if you just go into the industry you will find the compressors uh, uh, generally used in lot of a chemical industries. So the types of compressors we have is the continuous flow compressors they are the centrifugal compressors or axial flow compressors and positive displacement compressors here we found both reciprocating compressors as well as the rotary compressors so these are the types of compressors we have so the animations and working videos of the same are shared on the whatsapp you can just go through that you will get the idea how the working of a centrifugal compressor as well as the po positive displacement compressor takes place when we deal with the blower and compressor we need to go through the equations of blower and a compressor so before going through the equations of blower and compressors the uh, empirical constant n is calculated depending upon the pressure and the density of the fluid at the inlet and at the discharge point as what you can see on the screen the, the formula n is equal to ln of pb upon pa divided by ln of P, rho b upon rho a then what is the compressor efficiency it is the third it is the ratio of theoretical work upon actual work that is the fluid power to the total power inputted so in general efficiency as we have studied is the output upon it is the ratio of output upon input then moving ahead when the gas or the fluid is moving from the inlet to the discharge that is from one point to the another point that path followed will be of three types already you must have studied this adiabatic compression isothermal compression and polytropic compression so when the adiabatic condition is there the path followed by the gas and uh, what will be the pressure and work done by the same is shown on the screen and these equations are derived from the Bernoulli the basic equation that is the Bernoulli's equation so you can see the equation on the screen about the adiabatic compression similarly the equation for the isothermal uh, compression and similarly for the polytropic compression so these are the equations that is the power required and work done equations so these are the two equations for the blowers and compressors so hope that you must have come to know about the fans blowers and compressors in short already the videos again i am saying that the videos and animations are shared on the whatsapp group so you can just go through that for understanding the working of the fans blowers and compressors so be safe stay at stay at the home thank you